Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to The Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be covering a concept called bundling. And essentially, this is a way to include custom objects and items and NPCs, whatever you've made, inside of your map without uploading it to the workshop separately. So in order to show you this, I'm going to be starting off inside of the Unturned folder. We're going to go into some of the map files. So I'm going to be using the Map Editor tutorials map that I have. Um, for this purpose. And as you guys can see, there's uh, just your average map files in here. I do have the exported legacy spawn tables, but that was because I was messing with some stuff earlier. And essentially, all I have in here is the very bare minimum of what my map is. Now, in order to bundle things properly, you have to start by creating a bundles folder. And essentially, this folder is the equivalent of the bundles folder over here. Next, you've got to decide uh, what kind of custom objects you're going to be putting inside of your map. And depending on what you want to add to your map, it'll sort of decide what you're going to have inside of this bundles folder. So let's say I've got a custom note from one of the previous tutorials. I'm going to copy that and paste that right in here. Now, this is not going to be the location that this note eventually ends up, but um, this is going to be included inside of our map files. So next we want to go into the bundles, the actual bundles folder, and we're going to find the location for actual notes. Now, from my understanding, it's inside of objects, um, small or medium, I'm not sure it matters. And then maybe we'll put it in quest. This is pretty good. Now, what you guys need to pay attention is which folders you go through in order to get to this location. Now, for the notes, I went to object, small, and then quests. So in this side, inside of our bundles folder, we need to create three folders, objects, Inside of that one, we need to create small. And inside of that one, we need to create quests. Now, inside of this quest folder is where we are going to put our actual note. So I'm going to cut this, bring it all the way down inside of this quest folder, and paste it. Now, what this will allow us to do is when we're inside of our map, either in the editor or in game, it'll allow us to see that custom note if we want to place it and add it to our map, or if we're playing on the map, we'll just be able to see it there. All right, so let's test it out. All right, so now that we're in the game, um, all we have to do is go to the editor and we'll be editing our map editor tutorials map here. Now, as you guys may have remembered, uh, I did put this inside of the objects folder and obviously I was doing some other stuff last time I was on this map. And so what we need to do in order to find the custom note that we have added to this is go to the objects tab as well. So all we have to do is search up custom note and that's what I named it inside the file. And here's our custom note number one. And of course we can place this down um, and we'll even be able to interact with this in game. So we will go into the single player, be able to see what I wrote on this note. I don't actually remember. And that's pretty much how it's going to work. All right. So all we have to do is go in here and we should see our custom note um, somewhere in this map. So let me, uh, here it is. All right. So here's our custom note. Um, let's see. What did I actually use it? Okay. So yeah, there's not much in here, but Potentially, if this is a custom note that you were making uh, for your own map, you'll be able to see that there. Now, this strategy also works for uh, NPCs and quests and everything like that. The important thing about that is you have to use a different folder path um, when, you know, placing those files in the right location. So that's going to change depending on what you're making. Um, even if you do custom objects, custom vehicles, it will work for all of that. And the nice thing is when you upload that map to the workshop, there's no additional downloads that people have to do. It's just built into the map itself. So anyway, guys, uh, obviously this is a bit of a simpler video, but a lot of you guys don't know this technique. So hopefully you're able to use this in your own maps and make it a little bit easier for those who want to play your map. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.